Wilbur Darcy Buck Clayton was an American jazz trumpet player who was a leading member of Count Basie era's Old Testament Orchestra and a leader of mainstream-oriented jam session recordings in the 1950s. His principal influence was Louis Armstrong. The Penguin Guide to Jazz says that he synthesized much of the history of jazz trumpet up to his own time, with a bright brassy tone and an apparently a limitless facility for melodic improvisation. Clayton worked closely with Li Jinhui, father of Chinese popular music in Shanghai. His contributions helped change musical history in China, Hong Kong and Taiwan. Clayton learned to play the piano from the age of six. His father was an amateur musician associated with the family's local church, who was responsible for teaching his son the scales on a trumpet which he did not take up until his teens. From the age of 17, Clayton was taught the trumpet by Bob Russell, a member of George Elia Ress Band. In his early 20s he was based in California, and was briefly a member of Duke Ellington Ress Orchestra and worked with other leaders. Clayton was also taught at this time by trumpet to McGarry, who later emerged as a prominent West Coast revivalist in the 1940s. After high school, he moved to Los Angeles. He later formed a band named Fourteen Gentlemen from Harlem in which he was the leader of the 14-member orchestra. From there, there are multiple sources claiming different ways in which Clayton ended up in Shanghai. Some claimed that Clayton was picked by Teddy Weatherford for a job at the Canadrome Ballroom in the French Concession in Shanghai. Others claimed he escaped the U.S. temporarily to avoid racism. From 1934 or 1935, he was a leader of the Harlem Gentlemen in Shanghai. Some of the bureaucratic social groups he was with included Chiang Kai-shek's wife Sun Mi-ling and her sister Eiling, who were regulars at the Canadrome. Clayton would play a number of songs that were composed by Li Jinhui while adopting the Chinese music scale into the American scale. Li learned a great deal from the American jazz influence brought over by Clayton. A 1935 guidebook in Shanghai listed Clayton and Teddy Weatherford as the main jazz attraction at the Canadrome. He would eventually leave Shanghai before the 1937 Second Sino-Japanese War. Clayton is credited for helping to close the gap between traditional Chinese music and shideku slash mondo pop. Li is mostly remembered in China as a casualty of the Cultural Revolution. Later that year he accepted an offer from band leader Willie Bryant in New York, but while moving east he stopped off in Kansas City and was persuaded to stay by Count Basie, whose orchestra had residency at the Reno Club and took the trumpet chair recently vacated by Hot Lips Page. From 1937, the Count Basie Orchestra was based in New York, giving Clayton the opportunity to freelance in the recording studios, and he participated in recording sessions featuring Billie Holiday, and was also present on Commodore sessions with Lester Young. Clayton remained with Basie until he was drafted for war service in November 1943. Based at Camp Kilmer near New York, Clayton was able to participate in various all-star sessions, some of which were led by Cy Oliver. After his honorable discharge in 1946 he prepared arrangements for Count Basie, Benny Goodman and Harry James, and became a member of Norman Grand's arrest jazz at the Philharmonic Package, appearing in April in a concert with Young, Coleman Hawkins and Charlie Parker and in October participated in JATP's first national tour of the United States. He also recorded at this time for the HRS label. In 1947 he was back in New York, and had residency at the CAFA till the Copyright Society, downtown, and the following year had reunion with Jimmy Rushing, his fellow Basie alumni, at the Savoy Ballroom. Clayton and Rushing worked together occasionally into the 1960s. From September 1949 Clayton was in Europe for nine months, leading his own band in France. Clayton recorded intermittently over the next few years for the French Vogue label, under his own name, that of clarinetist Mesmesro, and for one session, with pianist Earl Hines. In 1953, he was again in Europe, touring with Mesro, in Italy, 
the group was joined by Frank Sinatra, 